Building up a little fire down the garden. You know it is Saturday night. Has the flint gone in this bitch? I believe so. Terrible shame. But always gonna have a plan B, ain't you? Trusty old copper, you know what I'm saying? What I tell you, look. Oh. That fucking bear grills me, mate. You don't want to sit too close to this shit, man. It get hot. I'm telling you. I just had a long fall of some bonfire then I was just hitting the jack as I was walking around to try to get more gear on the fire and I breathe in right as the wind takes the smoke my direction man so I've got some plastic in the lungs right now man yeah. keep them harmful bits out there look see we don't burn the plastic we care about that ozone layer and all that business Really, I should have just tipped this straight on. I didn't realise it was fucking there. Uh, what's it? Full of sawdust, man. Went to that, that bag, innit? Fire's simmering down now. It's getting to that nice temperature, you know what I mean? That nice, that nice chill temperature. <laughs> thinking about what I'm gonna make this video about, like where I'm gonna try and direct it. I'm struggling at the minute but I have faith it will come to me. I thought of something really good but then I forgot what it was. So I'm just waiting for either that idea to pop back up or another one of my brilliant ideas. And then we'll get it rolling. <laughs> but for now, yeah just sit with me a minute. Gonna enjoy this fight yeah. Should I go I'm thinking should I go get my skinning up equipment back one up in front of the fire? Yeah, yeah that's what we'll do. Wait here a sec man. I've returned, but in my absence the rain has picked up. So we're gonna take it up to the alleyway so I don't get piss wet through. But oh well, the fire was nice while well, it lasted. I'm gonna chuck this uh, this piece on right here that I didn't want to burn when I sat next to it because I believe it's covered in lead paint. Right? But get that gun. Oh, I'll see you in a sec. Let me just uh, set the lighting up real quick. Boom, there we go. As uh, it's blinding me, but as long as you're seeing me good, it's all good. Right, oh, let's get to business. First we need, what do we need class? We need, yes, Kevin, we need the fucking roach. So we're gonna make that real quick. Then you all know what comes next, I don't need to ask you that, you know what I mean? This is level three, but now, you know what I mean? You're passing tests and whatnot. I'd have been a fucking good teacher, man. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you. I'll be like fucking Mr. Schneeble, innit? Or oh, whatever his name is. Nah, fuck dealing with kids, bro. Horrible little shit. So we'll go for our fucking history. Just talk about some of the memorable teachers, innit? <laughs> right, first one, Miss Hogg. She looked like Miss Trunchbull. Second memorable teacher, Miss Davis. She was an art teacher. And she fucking loved me. I think she thought I was on the spectrum a bit. So she was showing me a bit of extra love and whatnot, but I still appreciated that shit. You know what I mean? She uh, she made me win the uh, People's Choice Art Award at Oakfield, 
Still got it, more fucking, it needs polishing, you know what I mean, my silverware needs polishing, it's been a while, love, but yeah, I did win some trophies back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Um, teacher number three, that's on the memorable list, Miss Elian, a bitch, good teacher, you know what I mean? I think I got my understanding of basic math and English off that bitch, so I thank her for that, but... She was nasty to me one day, I was there crying about some shit and she's there like, what your nose, why you look at me, just like, she piled me up hard, I must have some snot hanging or something. Yeah, but I remember that bitch, number five I think, Mr. Casey had a big chin, it looked like, a, you know one of them fucking iguanas, it looked like an iguana because he had a big fucking chin, it was massive. Number six, Mr. Cook, because I tried to nick his fucking cowboy hat on leaving day. And I got disciplined hard. Uh, right, so now nah, that's that's little school done. Year six out of the way. Heading up to the big leagues. High school. Uh, year seven, first teacher that comes to mind. What are we thinking about? Uh, Miss Ma. Nah. We had, <laughs> yeah, African teacher. That she needed to learn English herself, quite frankly. You know what I mean? Rather than teach it. Now she was someone to teach her actually, but still, um, who else we got? We had a guy called Mr. Perry. I'm going to start with the numbers now because I've lost count. Uh, he looked a bit like Hitler. He didn't have the full touch, but he had a moustache, and like, within the moustache grew another darker moustache, so he had like two toner, you know, like candy paint, <laughs> but on a touch, you know what I mean? Yeah, and he was uh, having an affair with another teacher, Miss Adams, she was uh, another science teacher and I was getting it on, everyone knew, everyone knew another one that's just come to me, it was uh, on the World Cup I think like 20 whatever World Cup, like 20 between that 10 and 12 number, I think it's 10 in it, 2010 World Cup might have been the Spain one, yeah I'm trying to leave school, it's the last lesson of the day, I've been texting the phone gets taken off me she knows what she's doing, she's fucking with me because she knows that if she holds me up trying to get my phone back then I ain't going to be able to go and fucking do my thing, you know what I mean get in contact with my pals, watch the game, whatever and she's just fucking going on and I just remember like giving her the palm in the face like miss and she she was fucking insulted man like she, all I did was the Arnold, you know what I mean miss, I can't be able to talk to you, you're boring me get out of my face yeah. It was probably about that far away from my face, probably about that far away from my face, but I need, obviously, nowhere near her, you know, I wouldn't fucking touch a woman, teach her, all that business, but she went, Karen, what's it, it's called Karen, isn't it, when, when they go militant, yeah, but that's what she did. On the subject of the marijuana, we used to have a teacher, and he was a blatant, blatant pothead, he loved the ganja. He never smelled of it. But it's just his eyes, bro. He was the most seized geezer you've ever seen in your life. His name was Mr. Langstone. Mr. Langstoned. That's what they call him. <laughs> Stoned off his little nugget every day, mate, I'm telling you. I think they binned him off towards the end, though, because he was fucking pretty useless, to be fair. Uh, who else we got? Mr. Dudley. PE teacher. One of the nicest people you ever cared to meet but also one of the strictest motherfuckers you'll ever meet in your life but he knew how to lay down the law he knew how to control people bro. but it was more just a respect thing because you know it was like you know when you're getting told off by some little weedy geezer yeah, you know whatever mate but this geezer if you weren't out of school and you weren't showing him respect he'd lick your head off he always used to dip off down to the there was a pub down the road from the school he always used to dip off down there for a little ciggy break and that but uh, yeah he died man but yeah, rest in peace, Mr. Dudley, bro. He was one of the good ones. The whole PE department was full of sand geezers, to be fair, man. Except Mr. Joyner, Mr. Bieber, ass looking motherfucker. <laughs> he was just trying too hard to be liked. You know what I'm saying? Getting bullied by kids. Yeah, sad, plenty of sand people in the PE department, man. Full of geezers. Fucking... Then we have Miss Polder. We have a black... American teacher at our school teaching French and she was a legend bro like fucking I was in the 
I think I was like isolation type thing. Sat in with the older class, two years old, the same year as my brother. And one of these lads, fucking, I ain't gonna say his name, like, I ain't gonna shame him, but he lets off a meaty fart and it stunk the class out. And she's whipping round with a peach spray, just fucking dousing everyone, like that's fucking Covid spray and it's sanitizer, you know what I'm saying, like it's 2020. She was getting that air fresh, but she even got some in my eyes. I could probably got a lawsuit going, because that shit burnt. I don't know what kind of fragrances she was using, but that's some heavy duty shit, man. But yeah, she used to have buckets of fucking catchphrases. She's just funny, just funny, man. Uh, Mr. Fucking, I forget his name, but he just had bare sweaty pits all the time. And he just wore it like, even if he was wearing a white shirt, you could just see his patches. Man had a problem and he looked like Saint fucking Nicholas as well. Mr. Aldrich, uh, fucking, they called him Mr. Baldgit, because he had a bit of a fucking monk's fucking do, you know what I mean? Whether lose the tippy top, just get left with a little patch. Yeah, he had a hard time. Uh, if you're wondering why it's taking me so long to fucking skin up as well, is uh, when I filmed that Kenneth the Madman video, if you want to go back and watch it, two, three videos ago. Uh, absolute nutcase, but a lovely guy at the same time. Good interview it was. I enjoyed filming it. But I left my grinder on the wall. And when I say left my grinder on the wall, I mean, I think Kenny rubbed it off me. But I didn't really want it after he'd used it anyway. Not to be a cunt. Not, but <laughs> for that bastard cost me three quid. For a fucking standard... Plastic grinder got robbed, man. But it was a windy day. I needed to skin apart the hood, so I just grabbed that real quick. But yeah, I quite like doing it the old-fashioned way. You know, I should do it the rest of the way, and it get me a chopping block and a fat knife. Just because I'm trying to be edgy and that look like I'm part of the culture. Some nice Romanian bush again. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, don't tell me a name. But it's nice gear. Oh, other teachers. We had a, a big heifer of a South African teacher called, I don't know what her name was, but you could tell she had a meaty bush and she stunk, sometimes stunk a bit out as well. Um, <laughs> shout out Mr. Webb and Mr. Butler, always putting indoor football on as well for the boys. Even though I was fucking useless and that. I still turned up, mate. That was good times. Yeah, respect for that. Uh, shout out my tutor, Miss Hill. Yeah, lovely woman. Miss Roberts, she looked like E.T., but she was a very good teacher. Ah, oh, Miss Miller, R.E. Yes, Miss Miller, what a geezer. Doing a fucking Tesco shopping and shit while she's in lessons, just like yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Two birds, one stone, and all that business. The only fit teacher I believe that I ever had. Oh, they actually we had two. Miss Bartlow, but she left us. She had some like Colombian look to her, and then we had Miss Fitzmorris. She had a bit of a crooked tooth, but she had a London accent, and she was paying. One of my mates, fucking, we used to be in the same, uh, same classes. There was like me, this other geezer, and this other geezer, and we was just little fucking terrors. So they split us all up. Even though we're all like the same smartness, this is what they did. They moved one of us down, they moved the other one up, and I stayed still. Even though, just because, you know what I mean? Like we was little fuckers. Even though like we was bright, we was holding up the other people in the class or whatever. So that's what they're doing, it's simple. But yeah, she fucking fell in love with one of my mates, bro. <laughs> she moved him up and that. Because she loved his handwriting. Nah, no, just joking, man. <laughs> so I used to say to him, like, you only got moved up because you fucking handwriting. You. you know you can get away with being a horrible bastard as a kid. It's like, it wouldn't fly, would it? Like, doing what you do to people at, at school, like, doing it now. Just be like, mate, like, what, why? What are you doing? Just the whole school's pretty chill, to be fair. Not a lot of fighting. 
Everyone so knows everyone don't know it's fucking It went timed as we got there. I remember seeing like the as we first got there the youth that was leaving was up on the hill swigging cans of beer off and shit and I'm thinking, yo like rebels man sixteen sat there making up a load of beers and shit when we were all young, you know what I mean? You look at them like the fucking loads older than you at the time, don't they? Don't you? But it's just I just made another fucking roach, even though I've got one. Oh, I got another roach for the next time, don't I know. Let's back this up real quick anyway, because I'm fucking yarming too much and I ain't paying attention to what I'm doing. It's Johnston, that's the stinky African, but she's a white South African, yeah. But she stunk and she was big and she, like, as soon as she brought in a dinner one day and it was like, you know, your, your mum cooks your lasagna and you have to have one of them glass trays if you don't eat microwave lasagnas. Yeah, but she brought in half the bitch. She had half a lasagna for lunch. And I know she weren't bringing it into share. I just know she weren't bringing it into share, man. She might have been, but <laughs> it didn't, I doubt it, you know what I mean? Yeah, I do feel sorry for a lot of these people. Especially the substitutes, man. They don't stand no chance. I weren't really there a whole lot of the last year. I just I found my mate Brian's flat and I was just using that like a little crack then. Sitting up there smoking weed all day. I remember being sat up there in my uniform just looking out at three o'clock every day, like twenty past three when all the other kids coming out of school just feeling like the man just like yeah. <laughs> my parents I don't know how I got away with it to be fair man. I think the school just gave up on me towards the end. I think they thought it was better that I weren't there. You know when it's like final going towards the fucking exams and that. Anyone who's not paying attention and like uh, it's just I knew it weren't for me, I knew I didn't need it. So I got some GCFs, I think I got five a few C's. I didn't get anything good, I think I got B in science, but it was a B tech, so that don't really count. I might be making that up as well, I might have got C. I think I got B. I think I might have got B in R E actually. I said Sha Miss Manat, good teacher. Miss Hatcher, that was the other RE teacher, that was the one that had pounded in the face nearly. And she, I don't like her still to this day. Fuck that bitch. Oh, there was a Miss Russell, Scottish bitch. I love the Scottish. I don't like her though. She used to do this little thing. She'd tell you off. She'd start whispering. And she'd draw you in so you like try and listen to what she's saying, you know what I mean, like come in a bit, and then she shout, and you just be like, fuck it, no man, like this bitch is militant, do you know what she said one day, she was doing an assembly, she's like, my kids, they're only about 10, bless them, says they volunteered to give up their Christmas presents this year, so we could fucking adopt a wolf in Siberia, and so, bitch, you're a horrible cow, you're heartless, you're callous, and she didn't have a TV. She doesn't allow... No TV means no Call of Duty, my friends. Bro, she's militant. What a horrible bitch. Imagine that as your mother. Tyrant. Disgusting. She needs the services ringing on her, man. Yeah, I don't even want... Thinking about her, that's just wrecked the video. I don't even want to continue no more. Fuck that bitch. Shut, shut down the video. Rain stopped as well. burning and it's bent that just shows how fucked up that paint is bro Cause it, uh, that's why I didn't want to burn it while I was here because it's like that lead paint shit oh don't fall out shit yeah a lot of the old paint it's lead based and it's fucking meant to be real harmful for you ain't good shit man my boy don't care though he's militant he's just there about uh, getting the paint off doors to get the paint off one of these doors because we've got some lovely like interior doors and they're expensive you ain't gonna buy new ones you know what I'm saying so is there fucking burning it with this blowtorch that one that I was using trying to use down the garden I'm just scraping it off and I was like put a fucking mask on at least like, you don't care he's militant asbestos 
fucking lead paint, whatever. He loves it. Puts that shit on his wheat a bit or something. <laughs> Well, that's enough, because I swear that people have got like five minute attention spans nowadays, and my video is rack on too long. Yeah, if you watch this far, yeah, shout out to you. I'm doing a raffle soon, yeah, I'm giving away all them clippers that I shown in the video the other day, and there's a couple of nice lighters in there as well, a zipper. What I'm going to do is get people to comment the number that they want on the raffle, so we'll do one to a hundred. As soon as the 100 tickets are gone, we'll do a draw, whoever wins it, I'll ship it out to them. There's probably about 200 quid's worth of lighters there. Who wants that many lighters? I don't know, not me apparently, because, you know what I mean, just one will do me, but there's some memories in that bag. But I just want to do like a little something cool, and that's like the only thing, rather than cash, that I can think would be like a good little memento thing to give away. Yeah. Yeah, my favourite one, my favourite teacher, Mr. Petifer. Electronics, woodwork, whatever you call it. Mate, if you weren't in that class, where the fuck was you? Because the other option was like food tech. You had to pick like one of the two. And this fucking lesson, mate, all I did over a three year span was make half a pinball machine. I can't think what else though, I think that's it. The rest of the time I spent it on click kick ups. I got naughty on that game. Play that other one as well, it's like block something and it's like little demons running around, but it's a bad boy game. When you could get on the mini clips. <laughs> yeah, good memories in that class. My funniest one. The funniest thing well other than my mate like pissing in a bottle then leaving it in someone's fucking that made like a lovely cabinet and it was beautiful, you know, a nice drawer set and that and it's pissed in a bottle and I like, poured it in there and fucking <laughs> But yeah, same kids. He was a willing participant but I locked him in the cupboard and I hammered a couple of these wood files under the door. You couldn't open that door for your life, you wouldn't open it. And the teachers come over after so many minutes trying to get the the files out from under the door. The gears are inside starts acting up, like, I'm a claustrophobic, so I can't fucking breathe, can't fucking breathe, I'm gonna fucking, like, next minute, he just booted the door off the hinges completely, but then he took the teacher out. But yet, he was still chilled, he didn't fucking, I don't know what happened, like, but we didn't really get disciplined. I don't know how he tolerated shit like that, he's just such a geezer, you know what I mean? Just allowed. Whatever. No, but I do wish that I actually paid attention and would work a bit more because that's a bit, it's a good skill, you know what I mean? If you spent all your hours in that class actually making shit, I'd have been handy, you know, I'd build a little fucking birdhouse or something. I can't do that shit. <laughs> it's hard, man. I think that's the one thing that I should have paid attention to a bit more. But common sense, you know, I could knock up a shed now. Piss piss. Yeah, that's it. I'm running dry. No, no other teachers come to mind, so if you weren't on the list, Sorry, but you know what I mean. That's how it is. 300 subscriber special coming soon. Buff, buff, buff. Get ready.